Hi there, welcome back to the Football Spy Show for some more top transfer tales. We start with a fascinating piece of breaking news reaching us from Brazil because Santos have confirmed that there are no less than five clubs that have triggered the £40.3 million release clause for the superstar Neymar and they have been given the permission to speak to him. They are Real Madrid, Barcelona, the Russian club, Anzi Makakala, Chelsea and Manchester City. We'll bring you more details when we get it, but the race is indeed now on to see who can sell their club the best to Neymar. Now moving on, and time for a bit of Cesc Fabregas. The most protracted transfer story of recent years is finally reaching the end game with Fabregas not featuring on any of the promotional material for Arsenal's new away kit. All of the papers say today that although Arsenal would prefer upwards of £40 million, Fabregas could go for as low as £35 million with the Gunners keen to draw a line under the whole thing. Just out of interest, the other players not featuring on that promotional material include Gal Clichy and Robin Van Persie. As you all know, Arsenal are already building for life after Fabregas. Here's the Express. They say that Arsene Wenger's open talks with Bolton for the defender Gary Cahill. Interesting this one, he's got a £17 million release clause in his contract, but only a, le a year left on his current deal. Negotiations will be very interesting indeed. Especially since Spurs have made their move for Cahill as well, uh, and they've offered no less than four players in part exchange. Here's the mail. They say that Bolton have been contacted by Spurs over a complicated exchange that would see Sebastian Basson, Robbie Keane, Jermaine Jenis and Alan Hutton move to the Reebok. Uh, the Reebok. The Mail also say that Cahill wants to go to Arsenal, but Spurs do seem to be prepared for that as the Sun have them down for the Germany defender Serdar Tashi. Now he's 24, he's rated at £12 million. He fancies a move after his club's disappointing 12th place finish in the German league last season. Juventus and Lazio also like him. Build in Germany say that Manchester City have made a move for the partisan Belgrade starlet Stefan Savic. He's 20, 6 foot 1. At one stage or another, Arsenal, Spurs and Chelsea have all had a look at him. Now the other clubs keen are Roma, Sporting Lisbon and Porto. The word in Serbia is that City have opened the bidding with an offer of around £6 million. We told you last week that the arrival of Andre Villas-Boas at Chelsea had thrown the possible move for the Belgian teenager uh, Romelu Lukaku into doubt. Well, more tales reaching us here that that does indeed appear to be the case with the 18-year-old apparently not on the hit list of the new Chelsea coach. And one more for the time being, Sky Sports are reporting that the Everton chairman Bill Kenwright expects Joseph Yobo, the defenders, his proposed switch to Fenerbahce. He expects that to be completed in the next few days. Just before we move on, uh, a quick question for you. Yesterday, we told you that El Mundo Deportivo in Spain were reporting a bid for Chelsea from the Bar for the Barcelona striker David Villa. Now, as we said yesterday, it's an interesting one because the word had already been out for some time that Villas Boas would make his prolific marksman Falcao, or RF9, as they're now calling him. Uh, the word had been out that Villas Boas would bring him over from Porto. Well, the debate has indeed started here as to which pla uh, player Chelsea fans would prefer. So I want you to tell me, who is the better striker? Which one would you prefer if you were a Chelsea fan? Uh, Falcao's 25, hit 75 goals in 83 matches over two years. He's helped his team to win the Europa League and helped them to go unbeaten in the Portuguese league last season. He's 17 goals, beat the great Jurgen Klinsmann's record of 15 in a single Europa League, or the UEFA Cup as they used to call it, campaign. David Villa has done it all. He's 29, he's Spain's all-time top scorer with 46 goals. He's won the Golden Boot for Spain at Euro 2008 uh, and only just missed out on winning it again as Spain lifted the World Cup last year because Germany's Thomas Muller had more assists. So if you're a Chelsea fan, or even if you're not a Chelsea fan, which player would you rather have in your team, Falcao or David Villa? Time for a few quick messages and Blessing Yera is asking why there are no clubs in for the Spain under-21 midfielder Ander Herrera who was superb at the under-21 tournament. Well actually there have been. Uh, he moves from his current club Real Zaragoza to Athletic Bilbao on a five-year deal effective from July the 1st. Uh, Mr Faison thinks £20 million for uh, the other Spain midfielder Thiago Alcantara looks more sensible than £30-35 million on either Luka Modric or Wesley Schneider, that's a fair point. And Mohamed in the USA is asking for information on Suleimani 
Kuli Bali, who plays for the Ivory Coast under-17 team. So here it is. Uh, he put in what is being widely described as a goal-scoring masterclass as the Ivorians book their place in the last 16 of the Under-17 World Cup in Mexico on Sunday. He scored three goals in a 3-3 draw with Brazil and they came after all four in the 4-2 win over Denmark in the previous match. He's still only 16, but as in Spain are reporting that Real Madrid see him as the new Drogba and they've got scouts watching him. His country, as I said, they're through to the last 16 of that tournament. So have a look and tell me what you think. Back to the Premier League and go to the Mirror Football website and you'll see that Liverpool are looking to sweeten the deal for Charlie Adam by offering his club Blackpool two promising youngsters on loan. They are the midfielder John Joe Shelby and the 22-year-old right-back Stephen Darby. We'll see if that does the trick. All the papers report that the Atletico Madrid keeper David De Gea should have his medical, uh, well has had his medical and should complete his move to Manchester United today. Uh, as you know, we like new names here on the Spy Show. So here is Casimiro. He's 19, he's a midfielder, plays for the Brazilian club Sao Paulo. He's got an £11 million clause in his contract and the Suns say that he's being tracked by Arsenal, Spurs and Aston Villa. Watch this space. The Times say that Stoke have made a third offer for the Birmingham defender Scott Dan. Birmingham want £12 million. Stoke are £4 million away. Dan wants to go to Liverpool. The Times also say that Paris Saint-Germain in France willing to offer up to £8 million for the QPR midfielder Adele Tarab. The Telegraph say Blackburn are looking at Robbie Keane at Spurs. The Celtic fullback Emilio Izaguirre is claiming to have had an offer from Manchester United. That's in the Daily Record. All the papers today report Swansea have had an offer from Newcastle for defender Neil Taylor. That's been rejected. The West Brom defender Gabriel Tomas appears to have fallen on his feet. He's got an offer from Lazio. And to finish off, two from the mail. First of all, the Reading defender Matt Mills. He's expected to tell boss Brian McDermott that he wants to leave with Wolves ready to pay up to £4 million for him. The Mail also say that Sunderland have agreed a £13 million fee with Ipswich for the striker Connor Wickham. The trouble is, Wickham, we understand, wants to go to Liverpool. That story's got a long way to go yet. Before we go, we're hearing this morning that the new Chelsea coach Andre Villas-Boas should be unveiled by the club tomorrow morning. So we'll keep you posted for that. Thanks also for all of your competition entries. As some of you are pointing out to each other on YouTube, we are not considering any entries that don't tell us the country that they're being sent in from. But we will go through them tomorrow, so keep them coming. The Football Spy Show will indeed be back with you tomorrow. I'll see you next time.